Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The equality of God's love. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of truth. Leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. Spiritual food. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 8 to 15. I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others and to prove the sincerity of your love. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that he through his poverty might be rich. And herein I give my advice, for this is for, this is expedient for you who have begun before, not only to do, but also to be forward a year ago. Now therefore, perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will, so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have. For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man hath, and not according to that he hath not. For I mean not that other men be eased and you burned, but be but by an equality that now at this time your abundance may be a supply for their want and their abundance also may be a supply for your want that there may be equality as it is written he that hath gathered much had nothing over and he that had gathered little had no lack first witness romans chapter 13 verses 1 to 10 let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of god the powers that be are obtained of god whosoever therefore resists the power resisteth the ordinance of god and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation for rulers are not a terror to good works but to the evil wilt thou then not be afraid of the power do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same for he is the minister of god to thee for good but if thou do that which is evil be afraid for he beareth not the sword in vain for he is the minister of god a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath but also for conscience sake for for this cause pay ye tribute also for they are god's ministers attending continually upon this very thing render therefore to all their dues tribute to whom tribute is due custom to whom custom fear to whom fear honor to whom honor oh no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law for this Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, 
Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not be a false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Second witness, Acts chapter 4, verses 29 to 34. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus and when they had prayed the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness and the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own but they had all things in common and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all neither was there any among them that lacked for as many as were possessors of lands or houses they sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold. I am the owner of the house. Quote, Brethren, you think that my coming in is amazing, that I was supposed to come first? I am the first to be here, and I must be here to the end. While here, I have swept the floor and arranged everything. So, all of you are strangers. Therefore, you should no longer conceive the thoughts that the Father should not come now or should not come at this or that time. This is not proper because I am the owner of the house while you are my guest, therefore I will now bless you. The reward of charity. Third witness, Second Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 to 15. But this I say, he which saw it sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, He that dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. Now, he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread 
for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness which cause it through us thanksgiving to God for the administration of this service not only supplied the want of the saints but is abundant also by many thanksgivings unto God whilst by the experiment of his of this ministration they glorify God for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ and for your liberal distribution unto them and unto all men and by their prayer for you which long after you for the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Brethren, all those who are suffering from hypertension, diabetes, ulcer, ulcer, cancer, rheumatism, whooping cough, all forms of sicknesses and whatever problems may be plaguing you right from now the father has taken them away from you all those who are jobless those who are not progressing in their endeavors those who do not have peace in their matrimonial home those who have court cases and those deserted and in lack of one thing or the other the father has instantly restored all of them let my peace blessing let my peace and blessing abide with the entire world now and forevermore amen go the father is before and behind you. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.